Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today we're going to be doing something pretty fun. We're going to be setting up a system that will notify all of our team members anytime someone's birthday comes around. I think this is very important, especially right now with the current environment. Lots of people working from home for the first time in their lives, maybe feeling a bit disconnected, maybe feeling a bit lonely. Um, he's, birthdays come up and people aren't really able to celebrate like the, they used to be able to, so this is just a small way that you can implement a system inside of your team to kind of make sure everyone feels celebrated and appreciated and connected. So requirements for this video is Microsoft Office 365. Every tool that we use in today's video will be a Microsoft Office 365 tool. And uh, it'll be a really nice way for you to integrate uh, birthday notifications and really help to celebrate your teammates. So what we're going to do is open up Microsoft Office. We're first going to create a form. So the form is what your team members are going to be using to submit their birth date. So I don't assume you have this information already. Maybe HR has it. Maybe they don't. Um, but we really need this data in a way that we can easily manage and ingest. So I just created a new form here with two questions. The first question is what is your name? I want the first and last name. Second question is when is your birthday? So don't choose the date option for this. It might seem like it makes sense to, to have that as a date but there's a lot of formatting issues that come into play if you choose the date option. So just ask when is your birthday and say use the date format MMDD. For example, July 29th is 07.29. And that'll be important later on. That format will be important later on. But this is just going to be a text field of birthday. So we're assuming everyone will enter their birthday incorrectly. If they don't, you can sort of modify it yourself afterwards. Uh, but that's pretty much it. And I'm going to call this birthdays test just because I already have a birthdays form set up. And let's just give it a fun little octopus theme, underwater theme for fun, just to spice things up. Okay, so this is our form. What's really nice about this form is if you're using Microsoft Teams, you can embed this straight into Teams by selecting a new tab inside of your Teams channel and selecting Microsoft Forms. And then they can fill out this form directly from Teams. They don't even have to follow a link. Uh, and it becomes really easy to integrate with your system. So you know, the less uh, less clicks a user has to perform, the more likely they are to actually give you the data you want. So try to make it simple. Uh, embed this in Teams, which is what we're going to be using to um, print the happy birthday message. So we have our form. Next, we're going to create an Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to take the data that's submitted in this form, and we're going to convert it into a spreadsheet. So we need to have the spreadsheet existing before we can pipe that form data into the spreadsheet itself. So what I want you to do is create a brand new Excel spreadsheet and insert a table. Say that your table has headers and we're going to basically insert a couple columns here. This one is going to be called birthday this one is going to be called name and that's it. It's all you really need here. You can also add one more if you want um, which I sometimes like to add for these. It's going to be the submitted date. Um, it'll give you that automatically. They don't have to enter it into the form to get that data so that would be kind of nice to have so you can add that as well. But that's it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward create a simple table, give it the columns that we're going to capture from our form, and that's it. Okay, So now you're probably asking, okay, so I've got the data in the form, I've got the Excel spreadsheet, how do I get the data from the form into the spreadsheet? And that's where this Power Automate comes in, Microsoft Flow, basically. And if you've ever used a tool like If This Then That, it's similar to that. Uh, it basically allows you to set up um, connections between different apps and create these different flows and really automate repetitive tasks. So let's say your boss sends you an email and you want to be notified automatically. Well, you can set up a flow 
uh, that will send you a text message whenever your boss um, sends you an email. And they have so many connectors, it's so nice. They even have Twilio, which I think is really awesome. You can set up um, Twitter, 365, SharePoint. But Twilio is really cool because it allows you to hook into IVR, SMS, all that cool stuff. So if you've never played around with this, I highly recommend it because it, it might make some of your workflows a lot simpler. Um, but what we're going to do is create a simple data flow. And I've already uh, copied the existing one that I have. I'm just going to walk you through it. So you'll create a brand new one with a few steps. The first step is going to be when a new response is submitted. So add that step and make sure to select your form that you just created. Birthday's test is ours. Then you'll want to add a new step called apply to each. And what you want to add here is the list of responses. Okay. So then you'll add get response details here. The form ID once again is going to be birthdays test. Get your list of responses and for each one of these we're gonna add a row into a table. So that'll be the next step. Excel add row into table. Go ahead and select the Excel spreadsheet that we just created. For us that's gonna be birthdays test. Let me make sure that it's saved over here. Let me recreate that real quick. I don't I don't believe that. Actually, I think it was book six, maybe. Let me just create a brand new one real quick. So just uh, as a reminder on the Excel piece, Open Excel, insert a table. Okay, tell it that your table has headers. Insert your three columns. Insert column to the left. Insert column to the left. We're going to have birthday, name, and lastly, submitted date. And we're going to name this, let's save it as birthdays test. Okay, so now we have our birthdays test Excel spreadsheet with our table in it. So we should now see this in our drop down when we go to select our file. There it is, birthdays test. And this is really, really cool because it, it's smart um, and it picks up, basically it picks up your headers, which is really, really nice. Now, it does ask you to, if you have multiple tables in your spreadsheet, you can provide different names for the tables. Office 365 Excel doesn't allow you to specify the table name. It's table one by default. What you can do is open that Excel spreadsheet on your um, downloaded Excel app and that will allow you to actually update the table name. So it's kind of interesting how it doesn't allow that, but on the regular version of Excel, you should be able to select Table Tools Design, and you'll have a little box right here that says Table Name. So you can rename that if you want, but we're just going to take the default, which is Table 1. Okay, And we have Birthday, Name, and Submitted Date. So what you're going to do after you select the table, you'll come to Birthday, and you'll say you'll select the question that should give you the birthday response. There it is. Name. What is your name? First and last name. Submit a date. Submission time. All right. So that's it. We've captured, we, we basically said, for this question's answer, I want you to put it into my birthday column. For this question's answer, put it in my name column. And for this time, put it in my submitted date. And we can save it. So let me go ahead and what I want to do is turn this guy on so that he'll run whenever someone fills out that form. And we can test it. What we want to do is test to make sure it's working the way that we expect it to. So let's go back to our form. 
birth dates test. And I'm just going to type in, go to preview, test McTesterson. And my birthday is going to be 07.07, which is today's date. And I'm going to submit that. So if everything worked like it should, our Excel spreadsheet should now have an entry in it with that data. And there it is. So I want you to notice a couple of things here. Uh, the first thing to notice is birthday is getting formatted and this is going to mess up our comparison later on. So what I want you to do is highlight that birthday field, go to number, and set the format to text. Okay, so you can do that first thing uh, if you want, uh, but it's going to truncate the leading zeros, which is something that we don't want to happen. So go ahead and update that so that everything that gets submitted is exactly the way it should be. So let's submit another entry here just to test McMahon. 0708, submit that one and make sure that the data comes in and that it's formatted the way that we want it to be. Let's give our form a minute to run. There it is, 0708, Tess McMahon, and then we have the submitted date if we decide we want to use that. Okay, so our Excel spreadsheet is capturing the data now, which is nice. Now let's go back and what we want to do is create another flow. I'm going to call this a, we're going to create a brand new flow scheduled from blank. So this is going to be a scheduled flow. You want it to run every day. So if someone's birthday is that day, you'll go ahead and post about it and you'll let them know, hey, happy birthday. I uh, hope you're having a great day. So you want to do a scheduled from blank and you can tell it when you want it to start running. Um, and you can say, I want it to start, let's have it start tomorrow. I want it to run at 8 o'clock, first thing in the morning, so that we really let everyone know that it's their birthday and they can, you know, chat with them throughout the day and, and make sure that they're having a great day. And I'll call this birthday checker test. And I want it to run every day. Okay. So we've got our birthday checker test. So this is the interesting part. It's a recurrence. The first thing we want to do is basically get those results from our Excel spreadsheet. So choose an action of Excel. What you want to do is list rows in a table. So let's tell it where our table is. We're going to specify our file. We loaded our Excel file into OneDrive. So let's select it, birthday test, and we want to select table one because that's the table we are reporting on. Now we want to do for each, apply to each. So for each one of these, okay, for each value, I want to run a conditional action and we're going to do a check. So what we want to check here is is birthday. Okay, we can select birthday straight from the drop down. It's dynamic. If birthday is equal to and this is the interesting one. You want to have an expression here. If birthday is equal to format date time okay so this is a function we're going to get the current time in UTC and we're going to format it into month month dot dd that was the format we decided on that's how we expect them to submit their birthdays so this will take the current date in UTC and it'll format it format it into mmdd which is the exact text string that we're checking for so go ahead and add that and what we're going to do is say, if yes, what I want to do here is, uh, for now, I won't, I'll set up the teams, but 
just as an example. So here you can select Microsoft Teams as your trigger and you can post a message. So it'll actually let you add the team ID, the channel ID, and the, the body of your message. Uh, you can actually use the birthday. So what I what I said was happy birthday to name. I hope you have a special day. And we appreciate everything you do. Okay. And then you can add, you know you can grab the team ID. It'll load those for you based on your current login, which is really nice. It's super super sweet integration. Uh, but I'm going to delete that for now just for example's sake. You can do all sorts of stuff based on this. If you want to send them a text message on their birthday, you can. If you want to send an email to the manager and let him know that he's got someone on his team that has a birthday today, so maybe he can take them out to lunch. Um, all sorts of cool stuff you can do here. and just It takes effort to maintain our relationships in the workplace, and even more now that we are all sort of doing our own thing at home. So take a little effort, take a little extra effort, and make your team feel special. And I promise you, in the long run, it'll pay off. So I'm going to save this as is, and we'll just run a quick test, and I'll show you the debug uh, so that we can verify that it's working. So it's currently saving, okay. You can go here and basically choose run. You don't have to wait for it to run on its schedule. We'll click the run. We'll go to the flows run page like it recommends. And we'll see what it tells us. So it says the run succeeded. Let's drill in and see what it got. So when it listed the rows in the table, it ends up getting both of our entries from the Excel spreadsheet. For each of those entries, it does apply to each. The condition. All right, so for the first one, which we entered in 0707, the expression was true. Let's go to the next one. For the next one, expression was false. So as you can see, it's working just fine. So I hope you really enjoyed this. It really shows the true potential of these Microsoft Office tools and how these connectors can really help you build out some really nice um, solutions and systems. And, you know, why not use your powers for good, help your team morale, and make sure everyone is, you know, being celebrated the way that they should be. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit in this video. Um, you know, if you want to see all my blog posts and videos, feel free to go to mindfulbit.com. Um, I have blogs there, videos, inspirational videos. I talk about soft skills. Um, basically just sharing my experience and expertise uh, with you guys. So thanks again, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.